Hello and welcome, whoa that's close, welcome to a brand new weekly vlog. Uh, you might be getting a bit of deja vu from um, a clip that I filmed in last week's video introducing you to the Barcelona vlog because yes I'm filming it at the same time and if you've seen that clip then you'll know exactly why that is. If you are yet to see the Barcelona vlog then I will leave it linked below, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This week, um, well I'm starting filming this on a Tuesday because yesterday I just kind of had a bit of a rest and we just got home when we flew back in we put our pajamas on had takeaway that night and just didn't do anything i briefly mentioned in last week's vlog that some of the files were corrupted so i have a few bits that i wanted to show you guys that i bought last week that was meant to be shown in last week's vlog ended up just being a barcelona vlog because the files were corrupt we went to blackburn me and tom went to tk maxx bought a few bits from there we went and had a nando's like good old student days i also hauled a few bits that i'd received from brands so a bit of blogger mail and then um i dropped tom off at a train station before we went to barcelona because he was off to edinburgh for a few days with work so i briefly mentioned that i was looking to whilst he went away um re not redo the house but just have a big clear up big tidy up big organization so i popped into b and m poundland and the range you have to bear with me i'm afraid my voice is slowly but surely coming back oh and another thing that i did last week as well which i've mentioned in the vlogs where the files were corrupted was that i filmed a pretty little thing haul one of which was this jumper so if you're yet to see that i'll also link it below in case you're interested in watching it um right okay so first of all went to tk maxx in blackburn and picked up a few bits so i'll show you what i got this first being a grey knit like ribbed dress and it's like a midi style dress. They had some amazing bargains in the Blackburn Primark. Tom had a meeting in the day and he came to TK Maxx with me and we were going to go to the meeting together. I was going to wait with him. Then we were going to go get Nando's. And as soon as I got to the TK Maxx and went in, I was like, Tom, you can go to your meeting. Just leave me here and then come pick me up afterwards because I knew that I just wanted to have a good browse. So the first thing that I picked up was this dress. I got it in a size medium. It was reduced in the yellow clearance, which TK Maxx lovers out there will know that yellow always means very, very good bargain. Um, so I picked this up for £7. And it's just a very simple staple knit rib dress. Another incredible bargain, probably my favourite bargain of the trip. They're these Adidas trainers in white with a very subtle like blush colour on the side. I'm not sure how well that's going to pick up on camera. Yeah, there you go. So you can see it's kind of like a subtle nudie beige colour. So picked up these. These were reduced, I can't remember what from, but they were £7 again. Amazing, amazing deal. I also picked up two of these cushions, which again were in the super, super clearance, the yellow labelled um, at £5 each. Really good quality. These are for our sofa downstairs, which if you don't already know, is like black and cream kind of thing. So there's a few throws and cushions on there, um, of which these are going to go on because um, we find that there's not enough support for me and Tom for like our back when we're sat downstairs. So I picked up two of them. Oh, and then I also got this puffer jacket in this like gorgeous satin baby, not baby pink, like a kind of corally blush pink colour. Um, I mean, how amazing is that? Super, super puffer, puffer jacket. And this again was in the yellow clearance at just £9 for like, and I've worn this a couple of times. And let me tell you, it is so warm. So well worth the money. Well, super value for money at £9. And again, another great bargain. I still think my favourite bargain of the trip were the trainers. I also got, which I've not got me, it's downstairs. It's a little white pot with like a ceramic pot with a little hedgehog on the top. And I remember when they brought that out for like the autumn range and that was reduced from like eight pounds or something down to 50p. So I picked that one up as well. So then I went into the range and picked up a few bits. This being one of them. It's a marble file for keeping documents. They have so much like stationery in this marble range and it's all marble and white. So with a few silver touches. So it's very minimal, very me and very affordable as well so i think this was about two pounds 
it's the time of year when I'm just about doing my tax returns, yay! So um, I just needed something to get a bit more organised. All my files and folders that I have at the minute are those like ugly paper ones, so I thought I would get a nice pretty one for about £2. I also got, which I'll insert a little clip here, a bath bridge that I got from the range. So I've set that up on my bath so you'll see what that looks like. I absolutely love it. I was kind of after a wooden one but I couldn't really see one. Um, there were a few online but again they're a bit pricier whereas the bath bridge was super affordable so I picked that up. I also nipped into Pamland last week so I had a proper bargain spree, spending spree. And I picked up a new book to add to my monochrome book collection. I know you guys love it when I do my little Poundland hauls. And I know some of you say you struggle to find books. I honestly, I don't find books every time. I have to rummage and I just go in as and when because I think they get stock every day. So every time I go in, the book collections that they have are different. I also have a few different Poundlands that I go to. So this one had this, which is called As the Romans Do by a blogger called Eleonora Galasso. I hope that's how you pronounce it. And it's all, it's like a classic and reinvented recipes from Rome cookbook. And as you can tell, gray binder. This retails at 25 pounds. So to get it for a pound is a bargain. Oh, I also picked up these, which again, another great bargain. Um, I have been wearing these and they are super comfy. They are these suede real suede um sheepskin slippers now i've tried on the ugg ones because i was after a pair recently i wanted to invest and i tried some on and they are comfy but i was still umming and ahhing and when i saw these and tried these on they are exactly the same they feel the same they look the same okay they're not ugg so there might be a couple of slight differences but they are real suede and they are so comfy and they were only $9.99 from B&M in the sale. So I picked these up. I'd recommend you do too if you're after some Ugg slippers or something similar. They're a bit grandma, but you know, they're only for around the house and they are so comfy. I also picked up two new throws. This one being like a faux fur one. I think this one was from, from B&M Bargains and it was $19.99. I think I'm gonna throw this over our sofa for now but with the intention of maybe putting it in our front room if we get like a rug and some kind of seat there to sit in front of the, the log burner, then that will be nice and cozy to go on there. But for now, it just stays in our lounge. And then I also got this throw, which is like a waffle cable knit, not cable knit, like waffle print um, with some tassels on the end. Cream throw, which again is our colour scheme for our sofa downstairs, black and cream. That one I think was about £14 from the range, so again, very affordable. I also got sent some things from um, various brands and PR companies that I received whilst we were away in Barcelona. So I came back to them yesterday, opened them up and thought I would share them with you guys. And I'll start with a few clothing items from various brands. I'll try and leave links to everything below. The first two are black items for like this time of the year and the first is like a waterfall style jacket which i love but i think this one's from Zafall. like i said i will leave a link to it below and it's just very simple very me very understated and minimal this is also very similar it's just a simple black kind of jumper it's actually really really soft this one i was really impressed with the quality and it resembles something like Zara labels. A little bit like Zara. Um, they also sent a faux suede black cap, which I do have a couple of caps. I don't wear them very often, but um, more so in the summer, but I thought that was cute because it was like suede. I also got sent some hoops, which I'm not a big jewellery person. As you can tell, I'm not wearing any at the minute, but if I do, I like very minimal jewellery. But on the odd occasion when I wear an outfit and I feel like, oh, a pair of nice big hoops would really dress this outfit up and just complete it, then at least I've got a couple all different sizes to just have in my collection. If I wear them once, I wear them once. It doesn't really matter. But then I've got some because at the minute I don't have any hoops. And then I also got a bikini. And this is just like a very simple white tie knot front bikini top. And then similarly bottoms. I got this in a size medium. And these are quite skimpy bottoms. But I kind of like that. Especially when we're on holiday just me and Tom. And then I also got these two bits. Which again for spring summertime would be perfect. And 
they're in this gorgeous like camel beige kind of nude color which i'm loving at the minute as you can tell um this is just like a ribbed plain midi dress all the way down with a little slit there and then uh, lastly i got sent this bandage skirt which again is in this like beige kind of like gold colored this one my battery's flashing at me now so if i cut out a bit later on <coughs> voice has completely gone okay not completely but we're nearly there last night it had more or less completely gone and then it started coming back today I'm just watching um, Sheldon and I've just watched um, Scarlet London's Orlando vlog <clears throat> guys I'm probably just gonna have to vlog tomorrow because I seriously can't even talk just having a lemon and ginger tea whilst I wait for Tom to come home just put the oven on because tonight we are going to have I know I said we're gonna be good, but <laughs> pizza. We're gonna just have one pizza between us and then a salad to share. So fairly healthy, slash not really kind of easing our way into the healthy lifestyle again. And then I think I'm just gonna <clears throat> burn some candles watch a bit of YouTube till Tom's home and then probably see you tomorrow. So yeah, I love watching YouTube. Isn't it like the best thing? I love unwinding and just putting on YouTube in the background. Love it. Speaking of YouTubers, what's everyone's views on the whole Ellie Darby situation? Because I even tweeted about it, just sort of being on Ellie Darby's side. Um, but I'm really confused because and I feel torn because I absolutely love the Sokoli Jolies. They're probably one of the first channels I ever subscribed to back seven years ago now, probably. And I've literally watched probably every single one of the, their daily vlogs. <clears throat> so I've obviously seen the guys from White Moose Cafe in their vlogs as i'm sure you guys will have if you watch them too as much as i side with ellie darby and i do like i would be mortified if an email came out and i was exposed all over the internet like that it's just embarrassing if you don't know what i'm talking about where have you been I, I i'd be interested to see what their take on it is because they're clearly white moose cafe are clearly they're vloggers themselves they are doing it for the media and the attention and it's brought great attention to them but it's also brought negative attention to ellie darby <coughs> as it stands that video that she did has way outweighed the amount of views that she usually gets and she's probably gained a subscribing from it as well but she's had a had to take a lot of stick for it hello i'm having like a coughing fit <laughs> i just put the oven on Oh yeah, perfect. When the oven's hot enough, put it in because I'll be back by then. Alright then, see you soon. Bye. Love you, bye. Anyway, I'm going to light some candles, get the pizza in the oven and crack on with YouTube. We YouTube. Woo. Who recognises this? My fave. Aldi candles, if you don't know. Then you've not been here for very long because you'll know I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Good night, peeps. I love the rain. <laughs> Morning. Oh, <laughs> it beat me. Tommy has his tea. I like cappuccino. Bakies. <laughs> yeah. got washing on the go i wanted to show you those um couple of beauty bits that i got very kindly sent whilst we're away um so i thought i would do it now i'm just editing at the minute i'm actually editing the barcelona vlog which is very exciting and um i thought i would have a quick pit stop a quick break and show you what i got oh i tell you what I forget how bad it is when you've got a cough at night and it just keeps you up because you've just got that tickle constantly. That was pretty much me last night from about um, 
I'd say, I think it was about two o'clock, I woke up, now I did fall asleep fairly early to be fair, but I woke up about two o'clock with a tickle, started coughing and so woke myself up, had to get up, go to the toilet and then I couldn't get to sleep for the next like hour and a half which is so annoying because I literally, I mean I was wide awake, I think it's because I had such an early night. Just having one of those days where I just need it out my face, just because just because. The first one, I've actually taken it out of the box, which is kind of annoying because I've got rid of the box and I liked it so much, I should have shown you guys, but I completely forgot. Um, well Duty Free very kindly got in touch and sent me this fragrance um, from Replica, I think. No, the brand is Maison Mar Margiela. Margiela. It smells so, so nice. It's a very, just gonna put a bit on now. It's a very fresh scent. Perfect for like springtime, I think. But yeah, love that and look at that branding. If that's not me in a branding bottle, in a bottle brand, <laughs> whatever. I also got sent by the brand called Maria Nila. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have tried things from this brand before and been very impressed. So I was so excited when I got sent these. They are the silver shampoo and conditioner, which, um, I like to use silver shampoos and conditioners on my hair just to like remove any of the like yellowy tones and just make it a bit more ashy. So I got them, so I'm excited to try those out. I also got this, which oh, again, the branding for this company is so nice. This is like a hair um, molding paste. So I, what I think I'll do with this one is include it in the giveaway that I'm gonna be doing when I hopefully reach 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I, I, I'm thinking whether or not to do like maybe one big one or split it into three maybe different ones just to give you guys a bit more of a chance of winning. We'll see. Um, but the more products that I include, obviously the more chance I'll be able to do something like that. I got sent the Impress Press On Manicure which I've used before and really like. So they very kindly got in touch and sent me some like purple and glitzy silver ones. As you can see, they work really well actually. I was very impressed when I tried out these myself. So they can go in the giveaway, as can these, because I do have a fair few boxes of lashes. So Kiss is actually a brand that I first bought and loved um, lash-wise. I mean, I very rarely wear lashes now, but when I was at university, I wore them quite a lot. So Kiss is a brand that I do really like and rate. So I have these two include in there as well. Uh, also got sent these bangle bands by Eloise London um, and there's her information and website there and very cute little bangles there as you can see I love this middle one with is that a jaguar or a leopard so cute so I will include them for you guys as well. Um, I got sent these by Impulse, which old schoolers, I used to love Impulse. I used to have Impulse in every different scent. They obviously look very different now. They're just um, two body mists. I got sent this, which I love, the branding and everything. It's by a brand called Bobel. You might be able to see it slightly embossed there in, um, can you see that? There you go. Open it up and you've got set of lovely different makeup brushes which i literally love the look of every single one of these so thank you so much for sending me these as always makeup brushes come in very handy nice little case to stand them up in as well i also got this from maria nila which is a cream heat spray um which i'm looking forward to trying because i actually don't have one at the minute not that i'm aware of um, so I don't use a heat protector spray, which I know I probably should. So I'm going to give this one a whirl and let you guys know what I think. I also got sent this, which is a thermal sonic facial brush. Daily facial clean, vibration with heat mode. Hmm, interesting. I have a Clarisonic from, um, I think it's from Clinique, the one that I've got. So I might include this in the giveaway. I also got sent this, which I'm a bit, ooh, about because... I hate blood tests. They are like a fear of mine. I just absolutely ugh, hate it. I got sent by a brand called Life Lab Testing, an intolerance test. So you do a little finger prick and included are a few little bits there, which you can see. You kind of do an at-home test and then you send it off to see. They'll test for um, different food intolerances and let you know your results. I think what I might do is 
test it on Tom first. He's quite keen to do this, you see. Stay tuned for that, probably in this vlog. I might try and get him to do it tonight. And then I also got some products from a brand called Profusion Cosmetics, which is one that I've never heard of before or never used before. So they did send me a few bits. They sent me two of these, one for myself, um, which is the Pro Face Palette and love the packaging of this. It's like soft and, oh, it's just amazing. So if you open this up, there are some gorgeous shades in here of like eyeshadows, highlights, brow shades, blush, bronzer, contour, highlight. I mean, you have everything in there in a palette and you get two makeup brushes. So they very kindly sent me one and they also sent you guys won so again that will be included within the giveaway and then i will try it out for myself and maybe we can create some looks together i might do a youtube tutorial of like a makeup look created with one palette that could be quite interesting let me know if you want more makeup videos because even though i am quite minimal with my makeup i do really enjoy makeup so let me know and then they also very kindly sent two different highlight palettes the first one being, um, I'll show you this one because unfortunately one of them smashed, which is so, so sad. So I would have given this away to you guys as well. Um, there is a makeup brush in there, but because of that, I think what I'll do is I'll keep that myself, try it out and maybe try and fix that. But they also sent me in the same packaging as the Pro Face Palette, they sent the Pro Highlight Palette, which as you can tell, more makeup brushes, cream highlights and powder highlights in here so what i'll do instead is i will give this one to you guys and then they also sent two other products one being a brow kit um brow makeup case it's called so it's like in a tin it kind of reminds me of the me of the packaging of the naked two palette you know that tin case if you have this palette you'll know what i mean that is what this is like it has a brow pencil and it has brow powders there i'm just talking to the vlog so i'll give that away to you guys and then I also have the naturals, I can't even read. Hello, you can come in, it's just a vlog. You can do your blood test now if you want. Okay, if we're quick. If we're quick. And then also sent me this uh, neutrals, or I keep saying neutrals, naturals palette. It's all sealed up actually. I might give that one away to you guys as well. You wanna do this now or later? Do it now if you want, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's a bit scary for you, isn't it? I mm. know. Do you want me to just read this? Yeah. Open the blood collection tube. That one? I don't know if I can do this. What do you mean? Open the blood collection tube and place it on a flat surface. Ensure that it is positioned upright and steady. Do we know what the blood collection tube looks like? Like that. That one, then. <laughs> we have one. I might just have to let you do this and me not look. Ensure that it's positioned upright and steady with the lid off. Yeah. Hold your hand under warm water for at least one minute to stimulate blood circulation. Should we do it later? Yeah, let's do it later. Right, we'll do it later. Tonight we're... Tom just called me from the office saying, what do you fancy for dinner? And we're going to have one of those chicken in a bag things and pasta and salad, which I think I've vlogged before. It's one of our favourites. But our local booze hasn't got any chicken in a bags left. And we know that Aldi have them. And actually, theirs are really good. So I'm going to nip to Aldi and grab one of them and grab a couple of other bits for this week. And because literally our fridge is empty at the minute. And it's right across the road from TK Maxx, so it'd probably be rude not to have a quick browse and also maybe see if they've got any of the Jo Malone dupes that I like in Aldi. Um, just got into the car and Tom used it to go to, where was it yesterday? Birmingham, I think. And I just spotted this and I thought, what has he been doing? It's spring water. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, because we're not big drinkers. And I thought, why is there a bottle of empty bottle of wine in the car? It's not his water. Um, anyway, let's go. Look at this. He literally leaves the car in such a mess. There's two cups there. There's their empty bottle of what I thought was wine. There's some work bits. There's some paperwork. I mean...
Agency, I went to TK Maxx where I got a couple of bits to add to my monochrome book collection, which I always go on about. I have been eyeing this one up for so long. I've seen it in TK Maxx so many times and it's always been full price. And honestly, the only reason why I like it is really the look of it and even the cover. I just think it looks really cool. So the Modern Dairy, it's called Nourishing Recipes Using Milk, Yogurt, Cheese and Cream. RRP $16.99, reduced down to one pound. As soon as I saw that ticket, I was like, Yep, I'm gonna take it. I've never seen this in TK Maxx before. It wasn't in the sale, but I did think it was a good price anyway. And it's this Chanel catwalk book. So I like how big it is. It's a really chunky black, like matte black cover that I just, I really, really like. This was only $7.99. Like I said, it wasn't in the sale. Is it on here how much it was RRP? Okay, 48 pounds this book is, and I got it for $7.99. Matalan homeware at the minute. I'm so impressed with it. Recently, I did a blog post, which I'll leave linked below, all about macrame and the art of macrame, which I really like as homeware. So I did get a couple of clips there just to show you what they've got in stock, and I'll leave that blog post linked below with some more bits from Matalan and other stores with macrame bits that I really, really like. And then did nip into Aldi, like I said, and picked up a couple of bits. For dinner, we've got a salad, fresh fusely, but that will do us probably two meals and then fresh gnocchi as well. Meatballs for tomorrow, chicken in a bag thing that we do. It's got pork, sage and onion stuffing in there as well. Chunky chopped tomatoes, spiced Christmas biscuits, traditional speculatius. All of that came to 11 pounds. Oh, well, here you go. Just take this. Take control. Just while Tom's running his hand under the water, let me just show you what's included within the box. This is what it looks like. This is the basic intolerance test. They have a few different ones you can choose from. This one we went for. One alcohol wipe, a plaster, a gauze, transport cube, one microvet, two lancet. And then you send it back off in this. Place your hand on a stable surface. Hold the lancet as shown in the diagram. <laughs> Is that her? Yeah, right now, what? It's going pretty quick. I can't even watch. Firm me until the cut clicks. Oh no. What have you done? 300, you got to take all that all that blood? How's it going? Slow. Oh. Right, and then we send it off. And I will let you know when we get the results. What's that we've got? Apple. All the celebrations left over from Christmas. The only ones we've got left are eclairs. I thought you could have them. Pardon? Celebrations do with that. You'll find that heroes. No, they're not. I only bought celebrations at Christmas. I bet they're in heroes as well. I bet you they're not in celebrations. Right. You are the witness, a fiver. But right. I'm saying Eclairs are in celebrations. I'm saying they're not. Where's <laughs> Oh. Fiver, please. I think you'll find. No, I would not. <laughs> That's a bit better. What? That's a mixture of both, you bum. Oh, uh, I have a towel ready because we have a friend coming over tonight. Ralphie's coming. For those of you who have been asking, yeah, yeah. but that's an old box. Is it balls? <laughs> For those of you that have been asking, Ralph, I just like stood very inappropriately. <laughs> Ralph the Beagle. Who remembers Ralph the Beagle? So I moved into this house when Tom lived with his best friend who they had the dog, the Beagle, Ralph together with the knowledge that when his best friend moved out, which he has now done, he would take the Beagle. So I miss him very much, but they're going for a beer tonight, Tom and his friend. So Ralph's coming over for cuddles. Not on the sofa, is <laughs> Not on the sofa. So apparently he's been on a walk and he's wet. Got this old towel ready to give him a big cuddle. Ready? Sit. 
bottle of water Good <laughs> uh oh you've lost it now you've lost it good morning everybody i dropped off tom early this morning again at the train station but i am going into the office today get some admin done and paperwork day that's kind of what i do on fridays get emails done and all sorts of admin -y boring stuff that isn't very interesting to vlog i'm not sure what we're doing this evening i'm looking at the sky and it's very blue speaking of blue look at the color of my eyes tom says they're green what do you guys think comment down below green or blue i think they're blue also i really like how i've styled my new bangs today this is the first time that i feel like they've been styled similar to what the hairdresser did them like and the difference being instead of just blow drying it i lightly blow dried my hair and then kind of at the front dried a bit more put the roller in and then rolled it that way to my head so that it was like forward like that and then dried the rest of my hair styled the rest of my hair with just curling tongs put a bit of moroccan oil through the ends and a bit of hairspray just to keep that curl a little bit i'm gonna go grab a coffee and kick start friday can you see my breath it's cold it's freezing. It's slightly different from Barcelona. Still got my cold a little bit as well, which is a bit annoying. Just about to, that's a really awkward angle that I'm holding this. Just about to head off to train station to pick Tom up from his day out in Hull today. Um, doing meetings out and about and everything like that. So I'm going to go pick him up. It's now about five so we might go out for some food to our restaurant or we might go to the cinema we were talking about it earlier again like last time though the film that we want to see maze runner 2 doesn't start till eight so we'll see whether or not we can um make the food last that long i got an email this morning to say that i've got two tickets if i want to use them to go to strictly um tour in manchester arena me plus one and tom's mum is a big fan of strictly so i said i would um take her if she's interested so we might go to that tomorrow let's go get tom and where would you like to sit from middle or back middle middle please tommy <laughs> screen eight what would you rate it out of ten <laughs> Um, I said there's no fuel. Out of ten. Six. Six? And to think she was just Effie from Skins. Who? The main actor. Actress. I Do you know? Well. Um, I thought it was good. If you've seen the other two, it's definitely the most action-packed. Are we going to the bar? Anyway, I would recommend, and now you can't see me. What do you think of this place? Yeah, I think it's all right, yeah. Have you got my phone? <laughs> She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm, I'm free. <laughs> Just in time. For Big Brother. Tom loves Big Brother. How much do you love Big Brother? He hates it, really. It's on in the background, and then he'll ask a couple of questions about the storyline. And tomorrow should be exciting, because... Me and Tom's mother are going to watch Strictly Tour. Going with a brand called Norvell Tanning, which should be fun. Good morning. Reading the paper. What are you reading? Guardian. Guardian is Tom's paper of choice. Always or sometimes. I like to change it up a bit. We're having breakfast, then we're going to go to the office and then do some work this morning. 
and then get ready for this evening. Strictly come dancing, live tour, Manchester. Just got to the office and I have a delivery. Actually, I have two deliveries. I put in a Zara sale order. So I'm gonna do a haul. Um, I'll do it next week so that by the time this video is up, it'll be live, so I'll leave it linked below. I got that on <laughs> vlog. Come on, Twatty. This is how my boyfriend speaks to me, people. He's so horrible. Off to get ready for Strictly. How does the tune go again? Okay, go, go, go. There. So this is my outfit of choice for this evening for Strictly. No. Sorry. This is my outfit of choice for this evening for Strictly. So I've got my coach handbag, which I got from Cheshire Oaks a while ago. I've got my new look coat, which again is fairly old. Uh, Primark little white blazer on underneath if I want to take this off, but still have something covering my arms. And then this top is like a, an old favorite of mine from Zara. And these leather pants are from H&M. And then these boots are from Misguided. So I'll leave everything linked below what I can and bring you along with me. Sunday today, let me just turn this light off. And we're ending this week's vlog here because we just ordered some Chinese and came in like 15 minutes, which is record time. And I realized I didn't really end off yesterday. So we had a brill time at the Strictly and then we went for drinks at a place called The Refuge in Manchester, which was really good, would highly recommend going if you're from Manchester or if you're visiting. And yes, this is our evening. We're watching Fargo, the film, having our Chinese, calling it a night, and I will see you next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did like it. Subscribe for more if you haven't already, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.